Hey everybody, Avid Studio Pro here. How y'all doing today? Today I'm gonna show you how to get hit by a car and stay safe. You don't wanna get hit by a car and get hurt, so stay safe when you get hit by a car. Might as well use a video effect to do it. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's going on? Time for another tutorial. Hit by a car, watch and learn. First things first, you need a tripod for this. Do your shot, both shots. Just hit record once to do both shots. Best way to keep the lighting the same throughout both of the shots. And let's get into it. I already got this set up. It takes a while to do, so I'm just going to run through it real quick, the things that I did. First thing that I did was I put the tracks together. I put the track of an individual standing in the street, track of a car going by, and then I put a PNG image of the individual standing still. I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. First thing I did on the track with the car that I have at the bottom, I right clicked on it and I went to speed. I clicked add. I left the keep anchor tank at the beginning and I did about 200 on the speed for that. That's all you need to do on that one. For the next clip, the track of the individual standing on the street. I right clicked on it, went to open effects editor. Editor. A few quick things I did on here. First thing I did was I went to 2D, 3D. I didn't do that. Went to 2D, 3D. And I went to Studio PIP. I did no preset on that. And then I went and I did the cropping over to right at the edge of the shadow from the left. You're not going to see anything until I get to the shadow right now. And the reason why I did that because I want this, I want it to look realistic and I want the shadow to stay there until the car goes by. Okay. And then I went to color and I went to image correction and the reason why I went to that if I show the tracks below here before you saw a line on here and I changed the contrast and I'll show you what it looks like without the line on there see that line there was a line on there so I went here and I did my contrast to 5 and I did my brightness to 7 you may need to do it differently to get yours to where you need it, but that's what did it for me. So I had the PIP and the image correction on there. Now, the next thing I did with the PIP track, is I had my cropping where I wanted it. So I pulled the tracker over until the car came onto the scene. And there you go, Mr. Carr. Real dang fast. All right. So what I did at this point is, right now at this point, I went ahead and I clicked on Enable Keyframes. What that did, it put the keyframe right there, and the keyframe is also the same keyframe at the beginning, so I have no issues with the um, the cropping. And then what I did is I stepped through. So I stepped through for each frame. Until I got to him. And I just let it move off the screen. Went ahead on the last keyframe. Moved it all the way over to the last position where he's no longer on the screen. And voila, car goes by. All right, so that's all I did on that one. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't wanna save any of that stuff on there. Now, now that I have the individual car going by and I have the person disappearing in this clip, 
So if I open it up, you'll see it play through. Let me show the image in the tracks below for you. You'll see the car come on. And you'll see the individual disappear. Crop them right out. Crop the car on and crop the person out. So now, I went ahead and brought this to a position where the individual, right before he gets hit by the car, and I open the effects editor there. I went to corrections, and then I did a snapshot, and I hit apply. It's going to save it onto my computer. It's a picture of this individual here, and then I created a PNG image with that. I do a tutorial on how to create a PNG image, so you can watch that tutorial and learn how to do it if you don't know how to yet. I'm not going to do it right now because I have a tutorial for it already. I'm going to cancel this. So I go to the PNG image that I created, and I put it. I put a marker here right where the individual was about to get hit by the car and that way I know where to put my PNG image to start at so I right click on it go to open effects editor the first thing I want to do is a studio PIP so I go to 2d 3d again studio PIP and for this I do no preset so it puts the individual right in the middle of the screen Show the media and the tracks below. And you'll see the car there. So now what I do on this one is I click on position. And now I'm going to move the image over with the car. So I'm going to go over and then I move the horizontal over however much I need to. Then I do another keyframe and I move the horizontal over again. Then the next thing I did, I'll go ahead and delete that out of there. The next thing I did was I added a, a, ra a radio blur. So I go to camera and radio blur. And then the radio blur just did no preset on that and put the horizontal down, left it on spin and I moved the blur amount down to make it look more realistic, I don't want it too blurry. So I'm gonna delete that, because I don't need it in there. And the last thing I did was I added the rotate. So I did 2D, 3D. It's on camera. There it is, and then rotate. And then an important part about this piece, Rotate has to be underneath all the other pieces. If you do not put rotate underneath them, it will not work right. You'll keep moving the person around the whole screen like that. So drag rotate down underneath the other ones. And then do no preset. And then you need to go to rotation. And then you're going to step through. As you move the image through, you're going to move the rotation of the individual little by little. I do like 10 at a time usually, all the way out until he's off the screen. Now, after you do that, you're probably going to have to go back to Studio PIP and adjust your positions again. Because when you rotate them, it moves them out a little bit. So you're going to have to go back and adjust your PIP track. Make sure you do that or else he's gonna the individual is gonna be way off to the left. So you gotta go back to PIP and fix that piece. Now basically all you gotta do is add your sound effects and it's a wrap. You're done. There it is. Getting hit by a car.